Well, in section in question one, we'll ask the power of x for which the greatest coefficient. What power of x has the greatest coefficient in this expansion here? Okay, so what's an arbitrary coefficient going to be? Well, an arbitrary coefficient, which we'll denote as a sub k, will be 10 choose k times 1 half to the k. So let's think about, well, let's think about the ratio of consecutive coefficients. And then, well, when that ratio is greater than 1, that means that the second ratio, the second coefficient is larger than the first, i.e. the coefficients are increasing. And when it's less than 1, that means that they're decreasing. So a k plus 1 over a k, what is that? Well, that's 10 choose k plus 1. So that's 10 factorial over k plus 1 factorial times 10 minus k plus 1 factorial divided by 10 choose k. So that's 10 factorial over k factorial 10 minus k factorial. And then that's times by 1 half to the k plus 1 over 1 half to the k. Well, what's that equal to? Well, we see these cancel off here, and we're going to get k factorial 10 minus k factorial divided by k plus 1 factorial, and then 10 minus k minus 1 is 9 minus k factorial, times by, well, 1 half to the k plus 1 over 1 half to the k is just going to be 1 half. And what's that equal to? Well, we see here we have k plus 1 factorial and k factorial, so that just cancels and gives us a k plus 1 on the bottom. So it's over k plus 1. And then, well, this here is 10 minus k factorial, that's 9 minus k factorial. So we cancel off the 9 minus k factorial to leave us with just a 10 minus k on top. And it's that times a half. Okay, so we said we want that ratio to be greater than 1. Well, when is that? So when it's greater than 1, that means the coefficients are growing. Well, that's going to be when the numerator is greater than the denominator, i.e. when 10 minus k is strictly greater than 2k plus 2, or 8 is strictly greater than 3k. Well, that means that for k less than or equal to 2, these coefficients will grow, but then when k is greater than 2, i.e. k is 3, we're going to have the coefficients decreasing. So that means that, in fact, our maximum value of k, for which this ratio here is greater than 1, is k equals 2, i.e. that is the a sub 2 plus 1, the a sub 3, the third coefficient, just the power of x to the 3. So that is a, plus, a sub 3 is a coefficient of x cubed, which means that our answer is going to be x cubed, which is an answer of 